What's up guys, I'm Chris Doughty, aka Doughtonator. Welcome back to the channel. Here we've got a early guide for you for Group 1 at Autopolis this week in GT Sport Daily Race C. Um, I was in a, a practice session uh, last night um, and we basically uh, did a, a, a live run of the race. Now, I'm not going to give you a lap guide for qualifying. Um, this will be specific for the race. Um, if you're kind of like a top 100, kind of top 200 driver, this video isn't for you. This is this is more to get you up to speed with uh, the Group 1 cars. And for this reason, we're going to be using the Toyota TS 050 uh, as the race car. Uh, for qualifying, the Audi R18 will be the car to go to. Um, if you're very good with hybrid uh, preservation, the Audi R18 will be the fast car for this race. Um, but it's got a very awkward and specific driving technique. I don't personally like driving it that much. The Toyota TS 050 is a fantastic car to drive. Hybrid is never a problem. So we're gonna run you through um, how to get the best race laps in uh, this race this week uh, in the Toyota TS 050. You don't need to worry about hybrid. Um, and the lap I'm gonna talk you through will be uh, on medium tires. Um, so if you use those braking points, uh, you should be safe no matter what tyres uh, you're going to be using in the race. Uh, dirty air will be a factor in this race. Um, in this practice lobby, we drop back to get a bit of uh, racing behind cars in the dirty air. And you do lose a, a lot of downforce behind cars. So um, it's difficult um, in the dirty air. In this particular example, we get we, uh, fortunate as uh, the German driver ahead gets on the grass, loses the rear slightly. We're just make, avoiding action and get a great run on uh, Rogue Jedi um, down the straight now. The brake balance I'm going to recommend for the race is uh, uh, plus three, so three to the rear. As you go through the race, um, you can shift that brake balance to the rear. The front tyres are the limiting factor in the race now. So um, another difficult thing on this track is the pit entry um, just be careful into the pits um, as you'll see right now I made an absolute mess of that pit lane entry um, it's much more difficult than you think uh, break earlier than you think and just thread your way through that chicane there, there is no point uh, pushing uh, the pit stop entry um, the fastest strategy for this race I'm going to refer you to one ball leader racing check him out um, I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description below. Every week for Daily Race C, he'll give you an ultimate uh, strategy guide. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to his channel. Absolutely fantastic content. So uh, for the race lap, first braking reference is just before um, the yellow, uh, sorry, the orange on the, the barrier there. Uh, you want to get on the brakes, uh, brake in a straight line down through the gears, uh, down to second gear and trail into the corner right to the apex. And then just get on the throttle um, as you hit the apex. I'm a little bit wide in this particular example, uh, but we do just get away with that. Uh, next braking reference point you can see is the path. That is where you want to hit the brakes uh, down through the gears to second gear into the uh, apex of the corner. Again, it's another trail braking corner. A lot of trail braking on this track. Um, I'm going to talk you through this whole sequence in half speed. So you trail brake to the apex, down to third gear, second gear on the apex. Uh, sweeping round, you can go up to third gear here. I left it in second, and it's just a case of balancing the throttle round this uh, double left hander. And then you're going to get on the brakes in a straight line down to first gear. The car will want to over rotate, so be careful with that. Um, looking for a point where you can get on full throttle, which is just as the car straightening up. Um, you're going to get back on full throttle at an exit here. Uh, you want to be using all of the curbs on this track. The curbs on this track help with rotation, so every clipping point you can clip is going to be absolutely perfect for you. Braking reference into the hairpin is just before the second arrow. Uh, you want to get on the brakes reasonably early, down through the gears. Uh, in my opinion, your final gear change should be as late as possible. So just look, we hold second gear for quite a long time, and then first gear just before we get to the apex. Um, if you do that, it will stop the car from over rotating on turning, uh, and then once you're straightened up again, you can get on full throttle um, down through this section here. Very hard to find a braking point with the cones on. I brake slightly after the cones. Um, this is a great use of cones, in my opinion. And we're going to go into the corner apex now. Third gear for the apex again, just clipping gets that rotation. And as you clip and get on full throttle, I leave it in third gear and rev it out, uh, and then just lift off to get back to the apex again. Clipping point once more, 
and we're going to go again through this winding section. The breaking point for me is almost halfway across the track when you draw a straight line from apex to apex. Um, this whole next section of the track is all about uh, flowing through, balancing the throttle uh, and clipping every corner. So down to second gear, making sure we get the clip. Uh, the tyre marks on the track actually carve really nice arcs. They're really good to follow and very, especially in turn one, make sure you check that one out again. So uh, again, just, just holding in uh, second gear, now up to third gear always balancing the throttle following the racing line the rubber that's been laid down on the track that is the uh, reference point you can have this is for this corner i just make a, a little lift about this point and then just slightly brush the brakes down one gear to second gear trying to get it to just just brush the curb we do miss it on this particular lap but uh, getting it to the curb will help with rotation and then flat out across the line and that should get you a, a solid race lap um, around autopolis track if you would like to know more how to get faster in GT Sport, then check out the description below for the link to the Race Asylum Discord. And in the Race Asylum, we have uh, league events, general chat to help you get faster in GT Sport. So uh, join us in that Discord. Let's run it through one more time, full speed, no interruptions, and you'll see the way the car flows. This track, Autopolis, it's all about flow. Um, you want to be trail braking to the apexes of corners, balancing throttle. So here we're going to get on the brakes, uh, down through the gears, follow those, those rubber marks laid down. They're absolutely perfect. Uh, I carried a bit too much speed in that example, um, but it, with soft tyres on, that would be just perfect for you. Uh, braking just at the path. Again, trailing braking to the apex, uh, late downshifts. And we're going to hold second gear all through this section, balancing the throttle, making sure we clip every single apex just to get that corner rotation. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll notice if you miss, miss an apex, you will be wide for the next corner, which will put you wide for the corner after that. Again, here I, I barely make the apex, I probably could have been a bit tighter on that one. And then on the throttle now, into this uh, braking zone, be careful with your last downshift, that'll get some car over rotation. Um, and we're probably a little bit too deep there, but we managed to gather it up, all good for that one. Um, this downhill corner, it's, it's easy to be too greedy and carry too much speed to the apex. Um, my my uh, advice is to get to the apex and accelerate out through the corner. Keep the car tight on the exit here because you want to carry the speed into this section. And again, every single apex, clip it, every single apex, um, very important. This corner, this left hander over the top of the hill, you can get some over rotation uh, clip in that corner, um, but it should be okay on the medium and the soft tyres. And then we're going to just carry the speed here. There'll be a point where you can get on fourth throttle just about on that path on the right hand side and you're going to fire it to the line. Hopefully this video is going to help you with your race pace in uh, GT Sport Daily Race C this week at Autopolis. Uh, let me know how you get on. If you have enjoyed this video, um, consider subscribing, hit that like button. Uh, let me know in the comments below, get involved. Um, hopefully this is going to help you get some victories at Autopolis this week and we'll catch you next time.